Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a relationship Q and A. A. You're oh. so weird. Like a Fonzie. A. L O V E. Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole and this is. Matt. <laughs> uh, also known as Mr. Matt. Someone actually asked the other day why where that nickname came from, like why I say call him Mr. Matt. And no I idea. don't quite know. No yeah. idea. No I think idea. it's just something I start. I say Mr. Lots of stuff, so like I just always said Mr. Matt in real life and then I would start put saying it in my social media. Because I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> Respect your elders. <laughs> Can you guys guess how much older Matt is? In Not the comments? Much. Not much. much few years but mm -hmm. see if you guys can guess so today I guess we should say what we're doing as the title says we are doing a relationship Q&A you guys have requested this for so long because we just have the perfect relationship <laughs> <laughs> no um yeah. no you know what we've been dating quite a while this June will actually be 10 a years decade is that crazy a decade it's a long time 10 years it's we've known time. each other and we haven't killed time. each other it's a long time so, uh, yeah, we get asked a lot of questions uh, since, you know, people know we've done long distance, we've done traveling together, we've done renos together, we've lived together, obviously, uh, lots of things together, together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, and, you know, it's, we're still going strong. So uh, we thought we would share, answer some of your questions and hopefully give you guys some tips and advice or just like really perspective from like our experience really like we're not saying we have the perfect relationship by any means but nope. i think we have a pretty good one ups and downs so let's just hop right into the questions i asked you guys in instagram stories uh to send over some questions so these are questions that you guys submitted i have them here i wrote them out on my uh, computer here and a lot of them there are some similar ones but i'm going to put the usernames on the screen of who asked the questions um so let's get started yep Okay, so the first one that seems to be the most popular is, how did you guys meet? I'm gonna let you tell this one. Hmm. Well, I'm friends with Nicole's older sister, been friends with her for a long, long time. She's married to a friend of mine. Um, yeah, so we sort of met through once Nicole was old enough to go to the, like, I bars just, and yeah, stuff, I was 19. and you started hanging out with your older sister a bit more. That's when we met. Um, she didn't really like me too much at first, because when I was younger, I was a bit more cocky, right? Yeah. So, there, you said it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So uh, first impressions weren't the best, and then it took me it took me a while. It took me a couple of a couple of months, I think, to convince you to go go hang out, go out on a date. On a date. Yeah few months anyways that's that's how we met so yeah long story short I w it wasn't love at first sight it was like mm, who's this guy and Matt had to win me over and yep. it took lots of lots of hard work but totally worth it right most days I, I'm a, most I play hard days. to get so a lot of you guys asked that question so hopefully that answers it okay next one this is a really good one uh, was Matt comfortable with your YouTube career and how did he feel about exposing your lives on camera I guess another one for you to answer I'm just gonna sit here and listen while he answers okay well you know first things first the very first stuff we started doing on YouTube was when we moved to Australia mm -hmm. and we were just doing like a travel hey guys. Sort of like a travel vlog before like travel vlogging was even a thing. We, we were started just like, it. We were just like, oh, let's like film our like our travels. And we just had like a sort of a private YouTube channel that our family and friends could go on and just sort of see our mm -hmm. updates. Um, so that's like when we first started doing anything with like video. And like in all fairness, like I was the one on camera most of the time. Like I was the one who was more comfortable doing the, the, the stuff and the talking to Nicole's like, I don't know what to say. I was so awkward. I don't even know what to say. So I was, so I was just awkward. doing it all. Um, yeah, and then gradually as uh, as Nicole kind of progressed with like the blog, because at first it was mostly blog and writing and then mm -hmm. and then into video. Um, yeah, I start really, once we stopped traveling and doing that, I was never on camera. But in a, anyway, it's long, long winded answer. I'm perfectly comfortable with with you doing like the YouTube stuff. I think it's great. You You've know? never felt like uncomfortable sharing. No, not really. I yeah. mean, I'm not on it that much. I mean, like here and there, little spurts. But I mean, I you're don't also think... a pretty open person. Like he's not super. Yeah. 
Like I'm more emotional than Matt is. Matt is a little bit more like, you are a little bit more reserved than yeah. I am, I think. Um, but being open, if someone was to ask Matt like, I guess more personal questions, you would be pretty open talking about it. So he's yeah. like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And he was always like, yeah, man, you should do this full time. Like you love it. So Matt was like my number one coach and he's still, mm -hmm. or yeah, you're my number one fan yeah. girl. Okay, so next question. Mm -hmm. What is one thing you guys disagree on all the time and why? <laughs> it's just like you answering me. Hey, let me think of something too. Um, I find probably most likely it's like clutter, I guess. Like I'm like super like OCD and like, like everything to be like put away in its place, keep things tidy, whereas Nicole could quite easily leave things lying around and then just do a big clean, whereas I'm more of like, like just clean up the little every single, stuff yeah. every day. Like be on it, that's my mom in me, I guess. Like just keep things tidy, keep things clean. And like, you know, and then you don't have to do like a big, huge two hour clean. This whereas, morning we actually did a, a big hour clean. Yeah, whereas yeah. you're more like comfortable just kind of leaning, leaving stuff lying around. I feel around. like I'm like most girls where, you know, like the closet's a little bit messy. Like I'm, I'm clean. Mm -hmm. Um, like I don't like a dirty place, but like sometimes, you know, where you leave like clothes around or like cluttery sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But that's where some frustration lies on my end. Was Matt uh, eating healthy before your relationship or mm -hmm. did he quotations teach or, or did you teach him about healthy lifestyle after your relationship? Okay. So uh, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real here. Okay. You, guy, you tell everybody. This guy super healthy when we first met, still healthy, but like way, way, way healthier than her, than Miss Nicole, the health nut. Um, yeah, when I met you, you had many a bad habit, not eating breakfast. Breakfast was like coffee. Oh, but yeah, I was not exercising. Yeah, it I was... remember I got you like to go jogging with like a run club one time and it's like your first time, I think, exercising. Oh my God, my lungs were year. burning. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I was also coming out of like, uh, I was managing a retail store just before I moved down to the city. So I think that too, sometimes like working long hours in retail also promotes like unhealthy habits, like Maybe. skipping meals, not having breakfast, running off coffee until noon, like a lot mm. of those things. So um, yeah. yeah, when I met Matt, he was like, he would eat the same thing for lunch and dinner. He'd do this. I want to do it on the channel, Matt's meal prep. He still sometimes does it, but it was like chicken, brown rice, and uh, just like steamed veggies. And he would have that for lunch and dinner every single day. We both really believe in, you know, exercising and eating healthy. So it's not usually a battle now. It's not like one of us wants to eat all the junk food and the other one's trying to eat healthy. We really support each other's like healthy habits. Yeah, like so. now you're probably healthier than I am. But yeah, but if I make you, if I make a but, green smoothie, Matt will have it. Like oh yeah, if I, sure. whatever I make, Matt will, will eat it. And he, he yeah. likes to be healthy. He's just that little devil on your shoulder gets the best of you sometimes. Darn potato chips. I, I know. <laughs> That's I know. <laughs> that person also asked, what's the biggest problem you had in your relationship and how did you solve it? I don't really think there's been like a big, biggest problem like I mean I can think of you know um, maybe when you moved out west but that was like a decision we kind of both thought was for the best yeah I mean uh, it's not fun doing long distance but like I guess like I would have to say maybe our biggest problem was when we were doing the long distance it was just we came to a point where it was you know we didn't get to see each other all the time we were just missing each other and we couldn't pr move forward with our relationship because we were just living in different uh, provinces Mm -hmm. And just and just to kind of give some background on that, when we came back from Australia and Southeast Asia traveling and all that, um, you know, we both were looking for jobs. I found a really great marketing job in Toronto, and Matt found a great opportunity out west in Alberta. And uh, so, it, for like double the money he would have been making in Toronto, and obviously we were like trying to save money for our future, so it made sense for him to go out there and for me to do my marketing job here and just to kind of see how it went. Uh, so that's why we were like split up for a couple years. But you like, I flew back a lot. Yeah, Matt flew back a lot. We made it work, but it was definitely like coming to a problem near the end, and that's really what made the final decision for Matt to come back and us to like start a life, like a life together, and, and get an apartment together and all that. Yep. So the same person asked, um, "Do you want to have kids?" Yes. 
simple. Yeah, simple, simple. <laughs> I know Matt's trying to like speed these up now because we're rambling, but um, <laughs> yes, we want kids. Uh, you know, we definitely are talking about it more now. I am 29 and like 30 has always been the year that I either want to be pregnant or want to start like trying. Yeah. Um, so have a lot of stuff on the go, so it makes it hard to think about adding that onto it. But, you know, I think like likely this year, we're gonna, we want to start like look trying for that maybe I think I can't even yeah hard to think about it's but. it's so hard but like if you wait till the, like the perfect moment obviously you know it's gonna be years from now yeah um but yeah Qu uh, short short and sweet answer yes we definitely want kids maybe to maybe adopt um we're pretty open so yeah have a little health nut acorn <laughs> is that what we'll call the baby <laughs> Ac my little acorn <laughs> I don't know that was the acorn in my stomach. <laughs> You know, I had I, I, th I had a dream last night. I'm like, what if, or no, when I was, sorry, not dream. Um, when I was meditating this morning, I was thinking, what if we named our kids Emmett and Emma and then be like our little M&Ms? I don't like Emmett. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute, M&Ms? I, I don't like those names. <laughs> At <laughs> I'm all? I'm not a fan, no, Emmett. I don't really like Emmett as a, as a name. It's not that I don't like the name. I, just, I know, like someone's just, kid yeah, out someone, there is someone, named someone, Emmett. Someone's listening, he's like, my name's Emmett. So I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't like the name. Just but not for, like, you not wouldn't for, I would be my, okay. I think there's other names I prefer. What do you guys do for fun during the cold winter months? Ooh. Activities slash date nights. And um, and how do you come up with new ideas to do? And do you find it difficult? Do we have date night? <laughs> yeah. So something we want to, I know we want to try to implement this year. And it's an idea from our good friend Rick and his uh, partner. But they do uh, alternating date nights like secret where secret like date secret nights. date nights where one of them plans like a date and it's just like okay this day meet here at this time and then they do their their kind of secret date night so the other person doesn't know what's going on yeah uh, we we're supposed to start that last month that, that Nicole was I supposed dropped to do the it. ball I, I know I know okay well, we should do it for February because it's like the month of love I'm waiting so I'm waiting. are you but waiting that'd be, that'd be cool because then it's like you know each of you just once a, there's less once pressure. Every two yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you just put some something fun and cool together, and at least you know you've got that one day. When but like, what do we do for things cold winter months? Like sometimes we just go for like a walk and chat. I know that's not super exciting. We used to do like years ago. We would, uh, you know, there's a lot of free skating rinks in the city. A lot of cities, you just like either rent skates or bring your own skates. Uh, you could do skating outdoors. You know, go grab like go for go skating. Go for a walk. Grab a hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think things that we do now. Um, um, I mean, something I want to do that we haven't done yet is like just like go skiing. Like, we haven't yeah, gone I was thinking, and it's skiing. been really snowy now. I was yeah. thinking about we should go skiing soon. Yeah. So, uh, but in the cold months, like you, you like tend to hibernate more. Yeah. You know, more just like watching Netflix and doing that, which is kind of boring. But when it's like minus twenty out and windy and we go for snow, ramen. Yeah, we eat out probably a lot more in the winter time than maybe the summer yeah but yeah yeah that's that's pretty much what we do if you have any good ideas let us know i know comment below how did you guys meet oh we already answered that what's your favorite quality that you like most about each other that's so cute mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can go first i, I keep going first so your turn i like matt that blah, blah, blah. the quality that i like about matt the most this is a hard one i guess i like Matt's just very calm and collected. Like he, like if there was ever an emergency or yeah, something happened, I like I can really lean on Matt for support and guidance. Like he, he's always very like level-headed and he doesn't panic in this situation. And like I feel very safe with Matt. So I would. I do though. I I do. I do. That's beautiful. I do. Um. What was the question again? What's, what's your favorite quality <laughs> of me? Um, oh, and Matt's a really good listener. That too. Sorry. It's, he'll remember what I said like last week on Monday afternoon. Mm -hmm. He was really good. I think best quality is energy. I like the energy. Woo, super woo, energetic, woo. which is good. Super energetic, super positive all the time. Uh, obviously like driven hardworking which is a quality that I like in a person um, even just like I mean your ability to like talk to people 
is something I always say. I, oh, you've I said like. that to me a lot. Yeah. Is that I like? Is that you like? You know, if we're ever somewhere and uh, you know, like maybe I'm not feeling super talkative, which happens more often than sometimes. It's like you can always carry carry that conversation and keep things going, and like I can just ride the coattail. Yeah, Matt's more of an introvert. I'm more of an extrovert. Next He's question. Good, good team. Next question. Okay, how do you guys keep your relationship interesting? I don't even know. It's a loaded. It's a. It's a tough question to answer. How do you keep things interesting? I mean, days just go by. Tick tick tick. <laughs> <laughs> tick tock tick tock. Days. What do we do? Keep it interesting. Um, I mean, we do a lot of stuff like with your. You know through like the youtube and all that we you know we go to a lot of events and, and we do that kind of stuff uh, another thing i was going to say like a lot of times where people will give each other gifts we like to do experiences so yeah you know we'll go we'll book random like weekends to go to the spa or go on a road trip like we do a lot of things like that where yeah i'd rather not get like clothes like yeah if i need something i'd rather go buy, stuff yeah and like i'd rather go do an experience and travel then get stuff that I'm not going to use or... Yeah, so we yeah. just try to do like more experience and stuff and uh -huh. um, yeah, I guess that's how we keep that's things. Good. Very true. Oh, I like this question, Kate. How did you know you were in love? So appropriate for Valentine's Day. When was the like time that, I'm just curious, when was the time that you were just like, this girl is pretty cool. I think mm -hmm. I could see myself like being with her for a long time. Um, I mean, like, it was probably, like, when I was backpacking through Europe, and this was, like, you know, after we had really first kind of started, I just, uh, uh, didn't have interest in, like, I don't know, talking to other girls at, like, the hostels and stuff like that so much, and I, you know, was more interested in, like, messaging her on, like, probably at that point, was, like, Facebook. Facebook Messenger was the big one. You know, and like the odd phone call, I think I was able to make once or twice from there on like Skype or something. So that's probably when I was like, oh, yeah. Did I ruin your trip? No, I still had a lot of fun. Just, we know. actually used to do like these stories of messages back and forth to each other. So the oh, beginning. I don't remember that. Yeah, I could actually find them. And so the beginning of our relationship was a lot of like just talking, which Matt will open up more in like text I think than sometimes in person so I feel like mm -hmm. we got to know each other a lot more that way and I would also say the same thing because like I was so excited like I'd be at work and so distracted because I'd just be like waiting for a message from Matt and like every time a message would come up I'd have like butterflies and I was really excited and um mm -hmm. and butterflies. I, I did I was, I was so excited yeah. to like read your message and leave one back and stuff and um so even though he was gone for a long time I felt like he was there every day and then you ended up coming back early I, I just no. remember that you came back early remember the, your flight your flight got canceled because the the airline went bankrupt oh, maybe like a couple of days early yeah, yeah and yeah. uh so anyways I ended up Matt ended up coming back early and like I was the first one that like Matt came and saw when he landed. Do you know I think that? I was in, I landed in Toronto and went to my apartment and then I think you came over, right? No, you came and met me. Oh. Yeah, so. I remember that. I'm quite the catch. So. <laughs> Obviously. How do you guys find time for your business slash his work and for each other? We do have quite a busy schedule. I, I do say, I would say that we do more than most than other couples I know and I'm not trying to say like oh we're doing better or more we just I just know like what we squeeze into a day is probably a lot for the average person mm -hmm. um you know we really try to support each other like you know uh you know right now I've been busy working on some projects and like Matt's really helped out with emails and just extra stuff that maybe I can't get to um and then if there's something that has to do with like the real estate side of things um, because we also invest in real estate and we have rental properties and things like that. You know, Matt does most of the property management, but like if we ever have to go to an event or like go check out a, a tenant's um, property for maintenance or something, like I'm always with him going. Mm -hmm. We always support each other and um, I think that goes a long way. Uh, okay, last question here is, do you guys do any free dates or dates where you do something that doesn't cost anything? I guess that was kind of similar to the other question. Mm -hmm. Um, Netflix and chill. Yeah, Netflix and chill. Although Netflix, I guess, costs money. Um, I consider that free. So, what else do we do? Like, what can you do on a free a free date? 
date. I mean, in the winter time, it's tougher to do, I think, like, free stuff because it's just cold. So, like, everything's inside. You like, in the summertime, warm. we would go to the beach, yeah. pack a picnic, go, go to the, the island, trip. I mean, walk around. Um, we would sometimes, I mean, it costs money, but, like, get one of the bike rentals along the water, and that was fun. But, like, if you had your own bike, that would be free. Yeah. Um, camping, which I mean, oh, it costs, costs money, money too, but you but could not always much. depends on where you go, which campsite. Like maybe you can spend like ten bucks for a campsite. And I mean, it's, in my mind, that's kind of like free, cheap. Yeah, just like hang out. I mean, although now like camping is really just a one day, one night thing. I know. Nicole's not really a a weekend camper. Just one night, get some nature and. <laughs> Check. And time to go home. Go home. Yeah. Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the summertime, just like being outside, and uh, we don't necessarily uh, necessarily spend a ton of money on dates. Like I said, we spend more money on like experiences and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily like even if we go out for dinner, we won't buy a bottle of wine. We'll like go for dinner and stuff, and then just like grab a bottle of wine and come back and have it at home. Yeah. Like little things like that. If we go to the movies, I'll usually pack snacks because a it's healthier. That's usually the the main reason mm -hmm. and B it's just cheaper it's like why um why waste money on on that stuff if you don't have to yeah so very true <laughs> um so it's I think music those to are... my ears <laughs> <laughs> so I think those are all the questions good questions everyone I know this is so much fun let us know what you thought about this kind of video hopefully uh, we answered some of your relationship questions and hopefully you know a little bit more about our relationship and mm. Mr. Matt and uh yep so thanks for being a good sport and uh, it was a pleasure to be here. <laughs> so uh, let us know if you'd like us to do another one of these. Uh, do you want us to do a boyfriend, girlfriend challenge tag thing? Do you want or like a cook off? A cook off? Boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend, uh, cook cooking challenge. Cooking challenge. Uh, we would love to do those for you. So uh, give us some ideas. What yeah. do you want to see? Yeah, yeah. Leave us a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I post two to three times a week on my channel. And it's been so much fun chilling, chatting with you guys. Hopefully this video is not too rambly. But um, thank you so much. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.